Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Side Quest and Big Happenings. There are big happenings. <laughs> so, before we go wandering any further and things happen, because at this point, again, I just kind of feel like things are going to happen no matter what. One, loved all of that uh, flashback stuff that we saw before, just in interacting with this meditation point here. Loved also the waking up into that weird vision space and kind of being forced into a fight uh, that resulted in the lightsaber being destroyed. And I so I don't know what they're necessarily, where they're taking this. I have a an idea for where they could go with it if they wanted to that I think would be neat. So this entire time we've been playing, Cal has had zero, well, very little in the way of Jedi guidance. He's been on his own for a long time, and we've seen throughout many of these scenes, kind of throughout the whole game, various instances where he either acts or replies in some sort of anger, emotional reaction. Uh, and there's not really been a Jedi senior there to call it out, but it's been stuff that's happening. And honestly, the entire game is built around a very uh, aggressive, like, violent solution uh, style of play, right? Like, it's all about fighting and combat and killing just about everything we run into that gets in our way, for the most part. Um, which, of course, that could just be, like, you can write that off, and it's uh, it's very likely that the reason for that is that this is a video game and that sort of combat is fun and it's you want to play like a Jedi and do Jedi things, like in <laughs> uh, the way a lot of video games with Jedi have you do things. But if they wanted to have this game be kind of the very... Just showing the early signs of kind of a Jedi falling, uh, just kind of in desperation, they've planted a lot of seeds that they could use for that in ways that I think are really cool. I don't think that's what they're actually doing. It'd be cool if it was, though. And then I'm very interested to see what it is they are actually doing. Whether it's that or something entirely else. Um, I'm just saying they could. Okay, that time, meditating just worked. <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. It does feel like someone is messing with us, though. Thanks. Let's just get out of here. I can't explain, BD. Not sure I even understand. This is going to be harder without a lightsaber, though. BD, BD, calm down. <laughs> He's not Coe's plan. You can't say it didn't warn you. Leave me alone. Leave you alone, lost, and defenseless in this dangerous place. Never. Okay, enough of this. Who are you really? Aaron Malakos. Former Jedi, like yourself. Have much in common. I doubt that. Oh? We both survived the purge. My troops betrayed me. I was forced to strike them down, and I escaped to this <laughs> desolate place. To the darkness here. It almost took me. But I conquered it. You're the one the Knight Brothers follow. <laughs> yes. Well, these savages only respect strength. And as we both know, the Force is a most powerful ally. Oh. No, you use the Force to seize power. That's. That's everything the Jedi stood against. These are dark times! They will consume us if we do not stand with each other. I don't need your help. That broken lightsaber tells a different tale. You saw something in there, didn't you? 
Something terrible. There are many such places here in Dathomir. Join my family. And I can teach you how to control its power. Join my family. And I will teach you to control the power. Familiar words, Malikos. Sister Merin, you overstep your bounds. For years, you said the Jedi orchestrated the massacre that killed my sisters. Yet here one stands, and you seek only to bring him into your family. You were told to deal with it. Clearly you lack the power, little witch. Power. You are mad, Marikos. Dothamir has unmade you, and my misplaced loyalty has allowed you to lead the Knight Brothers astray. Unlike the Jedi, the Knight Sisters of Dothamir do not turn on their kind. Our bond is eternal. Your sisters are dead! Yes. Their graves are all around you. Time to go. <laughs> Foolish girl! This power is beyond your control! You both shall learn. When you face one night sister of Dothamir, you face us all! Yeah, boy. You aren't here. Run! The lack of lightsaber is not ideal. Yeah, no. Run! Oh, no. At least they're not shooting at us. Go, 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 go. Uh, fastest way back. Yeah, okay. Well, they are shooting at us. But at least... You know, I'm not gonna say anything else out loud. I know how my luck works. Nah. Help. Eh. See her! See her! Tell Grace to get the mantis running! Don't suppose this what is gonna, happened? uh, open for me? Right, sister. She raised the dead. Nope. They're after me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And you're leading them here? Captain, prepare for takeoff. Yeah. Yeesh. No. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Go, go, go! Ow. Yeah. Jeez. How many are behind me? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad it's not like an entire horde or something. Yeah. Help. Get us out of here! What'd you do, kid? I got dead witches crawling all over my ship! Just go! What happened? Did you find the tomb? Your master's lightsaber. I saw him. Master DePaul, I, I saw the day he died. I saw what I did. Cal. Now it's destroyed. I couldn't save him. Cal, you were only a child. No. No, I know I could have helped him if I'd been stronger and braver if I would have listened to him. I could have helped him. I know it. Cal, it's time I told you everything that happened to me when I escaped the Empire. They brought Trillet in the room. And when I saw her eyes, they showed me what I had caused. She was an inquisitor. And something in me gave. And I lost all control. And I tapped into the dark side. And I killed them all. Every last one of them. Ex 
except for her. And for years, I couldn't forgive myself. I was a wreck because I had all this rage. And I tried pushing it down, but there was no hiding from myself. And all I wanted to do was die. But then I learned about the Holocron. A spark of hope that there could be a future. That we could move on. Get up. I can't change what I did no more than you can change what happened to your master. It's in the past, but Cal, you have to make a choice to move on. How? You're gonna start with this. You are going to build a new one. a new place. Cal, you will be tested. Yeah. But I'm ready. I don't mean just here. Every Jedi faces the dark side. And it's very easy to fail. You're still struggling with the dark side. Even after cutting yourself off from the Force. We will always struggle. But that is the test. It's the choice to keep fighting that makes us who we are. I guess it's about time I find out who I am. Neat. <laughs> BD, are you excited? <laughs> you look excited. Uh, all right. Let's check this place out. Come on, buddy. This is the Jedi Temple. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember. Every Jedi comes here as a kid. Or they did. Or when there were Jedi. Let's see. How do we get up there? Ah, oh, there we go. Looks like a way through over there. I'll be careful with the ice. Here we go. Beady. <laughs> Hang in there, little fella. <laughs> Who gave you caffeine? This is the worst blizzard I've ever seen. The storm, the temple, it all feels connected somehow. Hmm, ah, oh, here we go. Uh, 
Uh, little BD, the caffeinated droid. She told Grease not to give him coffee. much to see, is there? I should head back down. My face is going numb. I don't know, it's a pretty good view. Hmm. The great Jedi meditated here. He returned at points throughout his life to contemplate his many adventures and trials. Huh. Master Marty Cameron. A memorial placed at a meditation site often used by the venerable Jedi Master Marty Bucky Cameron. He returned here many times over the course of his life to reflect on his adventures and achievements. Feels like Marty Cameron must be a person. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Nothing to do here? Oh, here we go. Hmm, can't get through. Is there another place to go? Oh, we just went too high. Okay. Fair enough. On the spot. Yes. Here we go. Hmm. Ooh, what's it? Got something? Gathering room. The gathering room lies at the entrance to the Crystal Caves. Used primarily as a meeting area, Jedi Masters brought younglings here for instruction and meditation before they began their sacred search for kyber crystals. Ah. That would help with the making of a lightsaber. Ah, okay. Okay. There we go. to be beautiful. The warmth is nice. Still looks pretty neat. Thanks, BD. Uh, built by Jedi Masters who constructed the temple on Ilum a thousand years ago, this window magnified natural outside light for heat. A beam of intense light generated through the large glass portal was then directed to specific areas of ice that melted under the heat. Cool. Um... Hmm. Could swing that away, although. Maybe this first. Cool. I remember this room. Master Yoda melted that door to let us into the caves. Not with the Force. With that crystal. The light passed through it and carried its warmth. I bet we can do it too. I bet so. Just got to figure out where we're going to latch this. Eh. Hmm. Might not be anywhere to latch it yet. Eh, I don't need a hint yet. Oh, okay. Um.
I'll take hints once I'm done exploring. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Interesting. Can I swing across? Yay. Here's another one. All right. Hmm. Now that one can latch right here. Perfect. And then... Come on. There we go. Yeah. Neat. Okay, cool. Very cool. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll let go of that. Let's, um... Eh, maybe there's not a whole lot of reason to do that. I don't know if I can actually... Eh. I don't know if there's anything that can actually plug into it over here. Eh, let's keep it over there. Keep the door open, too. Come on. There we are. Now then. Swing. And what do we got? Hmm. Uh, crystals arranged within the temple enhance light to focus heat on specific areas. As the light beam melts the ice, it opens hidden passageways known only to the Jedi. Cool. And here we go. Yay. All right, we're back up. Now we gotta figure this out, though. There's gotta be some way to hold this open. Or, alternatively, did I ever figure out how to, like, release but then slow? Eh, I don't think that's gonna work. Come on. Hmm. It's gotta be something smart I can do with this one. Gotta be. Or... Hmm. Think, think, think. If I could get the crystal swinging and then, like, force slow it, I could try to get this open, but uh, I don't know how to cover the ground needed to do that all fast enough. Maybe there's something worth checking out on the ground level. Let's finish finding all the pieces to the puzzle before we try solving it, huh? Let's look. Good job, BD. A statue of a venerable Jedi Master adorns the central chamber leading to the Crystal Cave. Carved hundreds of years ago, it serves as a symbol to the sacred wisdom, enlightenment, and perseverance of the once great Jedi Order. Really enjoying this game. I'm really impressed. Just in general. Jedi devices were constructed within this ancient temple to control certain conditions or activate protected passages. Many such tools exist using basic levers, swivel arms, and rudimentary objects that, when positioned properly, will achieve a specific purpose. Doing my best. Hmm. Gotta melt this, but I don't see any other, uh... I don't see any other stuff to play with here. So... Now, here's a thought. Okay, hang on. I might have another idea. Shove that over there. This may not work, but let's try it. Uh... Yeah, swing over here. Pull. Plug. There we go. 
I don't know if that's gonna do it, but I feel like that's the basic idea to how this is gonna happen. Yep. I feel like that... I don't know if the positioning's right, but I feel like that might do it. Okay. No, but we just need it to be on the other side. Okay, no. Yep, I think this is it. I think this is the general idea. Now, what does this one do again? Right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, cool. I didn't even have to <laughs> plug it in again. Cool. All right. Guess I gotta go around now, though. That's a bummer. Hmm. That is a bummer. Hmm. Nope. I can do it. Hang on. Hang on. Give me that. Swing across. Pull. No, well, not that. Other one first. Pull. Pull. Boom. Okay. This time. I think we're on to something. This time. I think. Maybe. No. Did I just... <laughs> I'm an idiot. I forgot to push it back over to the other side. Hang on. Dog on it. Almost this time. I had the idea. I just forgot a step. Now push. There you go. Maybe this time. And... Yeah, there it is. Got there. Yes. Okay. There's no other ice to melt around here, yeah? I don't think so. Hooray! We did it! Whew! All right. This place is neat. I didn't know we were in for another planet. Uh, boy, this is gonna be cold. Pretty though. Uh, huh. Is this, oh, it's heated. It's, this is why we're not insta-freezing to death. <laughs> That's probably not that heated. This still looks like ice, but still. There we go. There's heat coming from those cracks underwater, but it's freezing up here. I can feel it. It's calling to me. We must be close. Shit, I can't pick any Kuiper crystal. It chooses you. Ooh. Yeah, kind of like you. Ah. <laughs> uh. I do love our droid. Oop. What do you see? Geodes, huh? Ilum is naturally abundant in geological formations found within mineral-rich underground rock. Billions of years of accumulated mineral matter deposited from hydrothermal fluids have infused the rock walls with valuable constituents, including rare crystals. The planet name Island is super familiar. I don't I can't just a little shake. It'll be okay. I can't recall it from memory from anything I have any bit of Star Wars media I've uh watched or read or whatever, but I feel fairly certain <laughs> that I have actually encountered it before. It holds. I'm sure it's in a bunch of things. 
Actually, now that I think about it, is it... Would it have shown up in any of the uh, Knights of the Old Republic stuff at any point? I know that's, like, set centuries before the rest of Star Wars or whatever, but... I don't know. There's enough of you nerds in the comments. Y'all can point out where Ilum... <laughs> where else Ilum shows up. Is that an ILM joke? They would. Whoa. Close one. <laughs> Call's getting stronger. Let's hurry. Ooh, I'm excited. Also, by this. I feel like I'm surrounded by ghosts. No, I'm not all right. It's hard to be here. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I love this pair. I should call it, but I want to get to that thing first. Uh. Hmm. Maybe this way? Uh. How did they find us here? That's not good. Not good. Um, I'm actually very curious about this. Uh, I want that, but how do I... How do I get to it? Can I get to it? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, jeez. I don't even know if I'm going the right way anymore. I feel like I'm not. Yep. Nope. Another way. There we go. Hey! Got where I wanted to be. Where did you last see him? He was heading into the caves. He called out, but I couldn't find him. Hmm. Remains of a camp. A Jedi Master was concerned for a youngling that was missing in the caves, huh? All right. Uh... Come on. There we go. Oh, right. I should probably... Go the other way. Go the other way. Uh... Wait, which way did I come in here first? Now I'm turned around. We're going that way, though. Okay. Uh. Nope. Run. Yeah. Uh. There we go. Go, 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 go. That's it. I can see it shining. How to get to it. Get the feeling we're going for a swim. Hmm. planet looks really cool. I'm loving all the colors. Well, I guess it's not a lot of colors, but I'm loving their use of colors. Hmm. Here we go. Gorgeous. There. I can feel it. We're almost out of here. I promise. I really am so impressed with all these. Oh, geez. Uh, uh, BD, don't come any closer. BD! Uh, 
no. Oh, no. Rats. Rats and shoot. Oh, it's cold. Go. Failure is not the end, my friend. Time's come. This may be the last you see of me. I can sense the doom of the Jedi Order is upon us. <laughs> no! Failure is not the end. It is a necessary part of the path. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. Like you, BD-1. I believe you will find someone just as brave and persistent as you have been. And you will help them as you have helped me. But your memory will be completely lost. Are you sure you want to do this? Beginning total memory encryption. Only with a trusted connection will your memories be restored. I believe in you, as I always have. And I believe in whom you choose to replace me. Yeah. <laughs> 
believe in you too, buddy. Yeah, you're right. There's still a chance. There's always a chance. Come on. Ooh, move to change color. Really? Really? <laughs> it looks awful pink. Oh, man. Got like a whole range here. Oh, but which of these is the pink, though? So, like, this looks... Blue, green. We got that, right? That could be, like, a purple, orange, yellow... That looks about right, though, yeah? That looks about right. Yeah, I think it does. I think that's probably the closest to what we're wanting here. Let's go with it. Yeah. That's a cool way to do that, though. Really cool way to handle it. Split saber as well. Dang. That's a whole new thing. So hold on. Love the color. We got our regular attacks now. We've got uh, that. Or good old times. Ah, that's rad. <laughs> ah, now we're ready to achieve great things. Let's find a meditation point around here. Gotta wrap this up today. What a great way to wrap it up, though. Be wary, Padawan. You do not choose your crystal. It chooses you. Hmm. Uh, right. Okay. So where do we head now that we are 100% equipped for success? Ah, I love it. <laughs> uh, okay, y'all, have yourselves a good one, and I will see you next week for some more Star Wars. I feel like we got to be getting toward, toward kind of like the tail end of this. I don't know how much is left, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm very excited to see where this goes. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you Monday for some more Star Wars. Uh, goodbye! Goodbye!